So start a new drawing. And I'm going to use a CAD 3D template for Imperial units and click open. And bring your drawing to... Just going to adjust my screens here. And bring your drawing to Southeast Isometric. So click Custom View. Select Southeast Isometric. And select... Um, click this drop down arrow and select Parallel Projection. Alright. So I'm going to start drawing the barrel. And... Um, the height for this barrel from this uh, in point here to the bottom to this uh, in point is uh, 13.21 so what i'm gonna do is um i created oh i'm gonna create a new layer and i'm gonna use this one for construction line so index click red and click ok i'm just gonna use uh, a layer one for construction line so l for line I'm going to start from the bottom and please turn on your ortho mode and enter 13.21. So this is going to be the total height minus the flanges. And I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to change my layer now to layer 0 and uh, start with a circle from the very top. The diameter or the outside diameter is 5.08 and the inside diameter or the ID is 4.81. So C for circle, snap that in point a center of your circle and type D for diameter option and enter 5.08. Now I'm going to extrude this circle up to this point here. So from this tip up to this tip here, the outside diameter is the same, except for this uh, two, this one here, or three actually. Uh, from this point, it changes. And from this end point again, it changes down to the bottom. So extrude command. So type in EXT for extrude command, or you can go to the ribbon and bring this down for 9.40 just gonna change this to x-ray and now I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn off the grid and another circle snap the center of that circle type D for diameter option and enter 5.18 which is this one here so it's slightly bigger now and extrude this one for 0.32 so EXT for extrude command. Select the object that you're going to extrude. Bring it downward for 0.32. And then another circle with a diameter of 5.56. So between this um, midpoint here of this curve and this uh, midpoint here. So C for circle again. Snap the center. Type D for diameter option and enter 5.56. Now extrude this one for... So the extrusion for this one is 0.38. So EXT for extrude command. Select the object. Bring it downward for 0.38. And then another circle. So the diameter here changes. So now it's 5.08. So another circle. Snap the center. Type D for diameter option and enter 5.08. Also this one here. Make sure to turn on your selection cycling. It really helps because sometimes if I check, uh, click this one, everything would be highlighted. But if you have selection cycling, there you go. Then you have choices here. So just click the circle. All right. And extrude this one to the very tip of this line. And now I'm going to join 
this um, object here so or combine so union command and just highlight everything now I'm just gonna change this to shaded with edges so it's easier to see the edges here and I'm gonna apply fillet which is this one so go to solid select fillet edge right click and select radius option and enter 0.19 and enter click this edge here and this edge now it's rounded the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, apply the flange so the flange here the biggest one here is 7.5 so C for circle snap the center type D for diameter option and enter 7.5 for diameter and extrude this one upward for 0.25 which is this one so ext for extrude command select the object and bring this up for 0.25 now i'm gonna create the bolt holes which is this one here i'm just gonna try a line here if this is the one so quadrant project it downward just gonna turn on the ortho mode yeah so this this one's here this hole is this hole here the bigger one all right and the distance between two holes to, so that i could uh, create a guide is um, linear from this center to this uh, center here so shift right click and locate center so 6.35 so that's gonna be my uh, diameter for the circle which is the guide so C for circle snap the center type D for diameter option and enter 6.35 and then the radius for this eight circle so which is this one big the biggest one is uh, 0.33 so circle snap the quadrant and uh, enter point 33 just gonna change this to x-ray so this one here so what I'm gonna do is use array polar to create uh, eight circles so array polar type in array polar select the object you want to array which is this one specify center point of array uh, snap the center right click select items and enter eight now i'm gonna explode this object because i cannot extrude it without exploding because this is associate associative so x for explode command right click and select the object now these are now individual objects now I don't need this one anymore. Now we're gonna extrude the circle. So just select one. Right click and select similar. Now all the circles are highlighted. And then go to home, select extrude command and pull it down somewhere here. I'm gonna use this one to subtract. So subtract command. Select the objects you wanna keep right click and select the objects you want to use to subtract which are the cylinders enter i'm just gonna change this to shaded with edges so there you go and now i'm gonna create a flange at the bottom so the bottom flange or the end flange here is um the dimension is this one so I'm gonna start from here so what I'm just gonna draw a line so it's easier to see so line from this endpoint to this endpoint here so that's gonna be and from this endpoint 
to this in point. The next thing to draw is the flange with a diameter of 8.2. So C for circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option and enter 8.2. And the extrusion for this one is uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.08. So EXT, if extrude command, select the object, bring it down for 0 0.08. Now another circle with a diameter of, so this one here, 8.26. So C for circle, snap the center, snap the very bottom cross because there are two crosses there. And then type D for diameter option and enter 8.26. So uh, the diameter for that is this one, 0 0.13. So select the object, extrude downward for 0.13. There you go. And the next one, the distance from the midpoint here of this curve to this uh, midpoint is uh, 8.38. So another circle, snap the center, type D for the enter option and enter 8.38. And extrude this one. The thickness is this one, 0.3. All right, so EXT, select the object you want to extrude, enter, and bring it downward for 0.3. All right, there you go. Now I'm going to combine the objects. So union command, I'm just going to combine these three. And then apply fillet. See, this one is rounded. So go to solid. Select fillet edge. I'm going to check first the radius for this one. Here. Radius is uh, 0.15. All right. So solid. Fillet edge. Right click. Select radius option. And enter 0.15. Select this uh, edge here. And this edge enter and enter again I'm just gonna show you how it looks when uh, you select realistic there you go now I'm gonna poke a hole through the object and we have the ID or the um, inside diameter is uh, 4.81 so although the outside diameters are different, slightly different. So this one at the bottom is uh, a, li a little bit bigger. The inside diameter is uh, the same. So I'm going to draw a circle. So C for circle from the center. Type D for diameter option and enter 4.81. And I'm going to poke a hole through the barrel. So I'm just going to use press pull command. So inside the solid solid. Um, panel here select uh, press pull command hover over the circle one once it turns blue left click let go of your finger and just bring your mouse downward and left click again oh what happened here because this one was not union to this object here so i'm just gonna undo and then union the objects first so this one and this uh flange and use press pull command hover over left click let go and left click again now what happened here oh what happened here i'm supposed to union these ones here now this is one object again or if it happens all you could do is um press uh I select press pull command hover over this area here left click and bring it down and left click again now we're good all right now i'm gonna create bolt holes for the bottom and the bottom bolt holes are smaller which is this one here and the radius for this one is 0.18 and there are eight 
bolt holes. So I'm going to use the bottom view. And create a um, circle for guide. So what I'm going to do is annotate. So linear, so between two circles, so center. And center here, so this is going to be this one here, center. So shift right click and select center. So this is going to be the diameter of the guide for the bottom holes, bolt holes. So C for circle. Snap the center. And type D for diameter option and enter 6.99. Now I think it's snap on different uh, face. So it's here. So it's okay. We can still use that. Now draw a circle, so C for circle, enter, and specify center point of circle. I'm going to select a quadrant here, which is this one. It has a diamond uh, symbol, and the radius is 0.18, so just enter 0.18. And now I'm going to array this circle, so type in array polar. And before we proceed, don't forget to turn on your dynamic input. Ortho mode or polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, and 3D object snap. All right, so um, select the circle. I'll type in array polar. Select this circle. Right click and specify center point of array. You can click the center here, any center here. Snap that. Right click and select items and enter number 8 for the number of items. Enter and enter again. Now this is associative array. So what I'm going to do is explode this one first. Otherwise, it's impossible to extrude th this object. So select that circle and enter. Now it's individual objects. I'm just going to remove this one. So delete. And uh, maybe change this to X-ray. And select this one here. Right click and select um, similar. Now all the circles are selected or highlighted. Now you can extrude this one. Okay, I think there is what happened here is there's a circle here that's not deleted. There you go, delete that one first because it, um, when I use select similar, it uh, selected all the circles that's present. All right, again, select one circle, right click and select similar and extrude downward up to here and use this, um, these ones to subtract from the barrel so subtract command select the object you want to keep right click and select the objects you want to use to subtract which are the smaller cylinder cylinders there you go now i'm going to change this to shaded with edges now the next part is uh, creating the nozzles so for the next tutorial, I'm going to create the nozzles, the three nozzles, and the indentation for this one here. I'm going to show you for this model. This one here. I'm going to change this now to realistic. So this one. All right. Thanks for watching. See you again. Uh, please don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.